Good day everyone. Here's our geometry challenge for today. And here's our question. Given this semicircle and a circle centered at C, 1 and C, 2, our goal is to find the length of segment PQ. Now, if you want to try this problem, you can pause this video. You have 20 seconds and timer starts now. Time's up. Now, let's answer this question together. In this question, we're given a semicircle and a circle. Now, the question is, how are we going to answer this kind of question? To answer this question, what we're going to do is to complete this semicircle. What I mean is, to make this semicircle a whole circle like this. Now, at this point, Notice that the length of the diameter of this big circle must be equal to 8 plus 2 or simply 10. It follows that the radius of this big circle must be equal to 5. Now since we know the length of the radius of this big circle, therefore we can say that the distance from the center of this big circle to this intersection point must be equal to 5 minus 2 or simply 3 units. Now. Let's connect the two centers like this. And we know the measure of this segment must be equal to 5 because this is just the radius of the big circle. Now, from the point of tangency, let's draw the radius of the small circle. Now, take note that this radius is perpendicular to the diameter of the big circle. The reason is the diameter of this big circle is tangent to the small circle. Now, notice this right triangle right here. The hypotenuse is 5, one leg is 3, therefore, the other leg of this right triangle measures 4 units. So, this is the special 3, 4, 5 right triangle. And also take note that this 4 units is also the length of the radius of this small circle. So, the length of the radius of this small circle must be equal to 4 units. Now, at this point, Let's extend this line connecting the centers of these two circle like this. And also take note that the length of the segment from the center of the big circle to this point must be equivalent to 5 also because this is just the radius of the big circle. Now, this is not hard to prove that segment PQ is bisected by this line connecting the centers of these two circle. Now, let the measure of this equal segment be equal to x. And now, we will use one theorem, which is called the chord-chord power theorem. Chord-chord power theorem states that if two chords of a circle intersect, then the product of the measures of the parts of one chord is equal to the product of the measures of the parts of the other chord. So given this figure, we can say that a times b equals c times d. Now, we will use this concept to answer this question or to find the length of this segment, PQ. First thing is to focus on the big circle. Now, let's use the chord chord power theorem. So, let this segment be equal to y and since the radius of the big circle must be equal to 5, therefore, the remaining segment must be equal to 5 minus y. Now, using the chord chord power theorem, we can say that x squared equals y times 5 minus y plus 5 or simply 10 minus y. So, x squared equals y times 10 minus y. Now, let's focus on the small circle. Since we know that the radius of the small circle is 4 and this segment is y, therefore, the remaining segment must be equal to 4 minus y. Again, using chord chord power theorem, we can say that x squared equals 4 plus y, this is 4 plus y, times 4 minus y. Now, don't forget our goal. Our goal is to find the measure of segment PQ, which is equivalent to x plus x. x plus x is equal to 2x. Therefore, we need to find the value of 2 times x. Now, let's focus on these two 
equation. We have x squared equals y times 10 minus y and x squared equals 4 plus y times 4 minus y. Now notice that they are both equal to x squared. So we can equate them. So we have y times 10 minus y equals 4 plus y times 4 minus y. Now let's simplify the left hand side. This is just 10y minus y squared. And the right hand side is just 16 minus y squared. If we add y squared on both sides, negative y squared cancel out. This is just 10y equals 16. Divide both sides by 10. We have y equals 16 over 10. And 16 over 10 is simply 8 over 5. Now at this point, we have now the value of y. Now let's have the given equations again. Take note that we want the value of 2 times x. So we need to find the value of x. Now let's use one equation. Let's choose the first one. Now using this equation, we can solve the value for x. Because we know that y equals 8 over 5, so we can replace all y with 8 over 5. Now, 10 minus 8 over 5 will give us 42 over 5. And 8 over 5 times 42 over 5 will give us 336 over 25. Now, since we want the value of just x, what we're going to do is to take the square root on both sides. Now, since x is a side length, therefore, we need to consider the positive value for x. Now, let's simplify. 336 is just 16 times 21. And take note that 16 is a perfect square and 25 is also a perfect square. Therefore, we can simplify this expression as 4 over 5 times square root of 21. Now, we have the value for x, but we want 2 times x. Therefore, the length of PQ must be equal to 2 times 4 times square root of 21 over 5. And if we simplify this, we get that the length of PQ or segment PQ must be equal to 8 times square root of 21 over 5. Therefore, the length of segment PQ in this figure must be equal to 8 times square root of 21 over 5 units. And as always, we are done.